Good evening, eighth graders, faculty, parents, and guests. We have the distinction of being part of the 47th promotion exercise at Woodrow Wilson Middle School. And we are honored to have all of you join us tonight. Today is important for many reasons. For our students, it is an opportunity to look back at the past three years and reflect on how much you've learned, changed, and matured. It also signals the beginning of your next journey, high school. It is a time to celebrate and a time to look forward and set goals for the future. For our parents, it seems like just yesterday, you were worried about your child leaving the safe confines of elementary school. How quickly time passes, whether you want it to or not. Today you will realize how grown up and mature your child has become. They will continue to surprise you and no doubt test you in new ways. Fortunately, if you stay connected and continue to provide unconditional love to your son or daughter, the high school years will be very successful. The staff has worked hard to prepare a meaningful and appropriate virtual ceremony for our students and their families. Please enjoy the ceremony we have planned and share in our celebration of our students' accomplishments over the last three years. We will now begin to recognize some specific contributions and achievements of our students. Hello, I'll be presenting the John Kochko Award. Mr. Kochko was an assistant principal at Woodrow Wilson Middle School. Mr. Kochko had great pride for our school taking a special interest in its reputation for a competitive academic program and its respectful students. Enthusiasm, dedication, fairness, and loyalty were Mr. Kochko's most recognized strengths. Extremely patriotic and proud of our country, Mr. Kochko also served in the United States Army, attaining the ultimate rank of Brigadier General. The students receiving the John Kochko Awards are given this honor because of their school spirit in the form of co-curricular involvement or service and scholarship. This year's winners are Gia Karani, Betsy Kizakapuram, Lakshay Chauhan, and Ryan Purakal. Congratulations. Nancy Carter taught science at Woodrow Wilson Middle School. Mrs. Carter was a caring and dedicated teacher 
who instilled in her students a love for science. Mrs. Carter also shared her ideas about teaching science with her colleagues. The student recipients of the Nancy Carter Award are recognized by their teachers as being diligent students who demonstrate academic accomplishments as well as an appreciation for the subject of science. This year's winners are Sanjay Ravi Shankar, Twisha Patel, Saidarini Sailan, and Akshita Guravayar. Congratulations. The George Lackett Award. Mr. Lackett was a technology teacher at our school. Caring, positive, and appreciative of the creative aspects of learning, Mr. Lackett spent much time sharing his talent with students. The technology lab under Mr. Lackett's direction remained an active and engaging classroom where creative ideas took shape in construction projects. The student recipient of this award is a creative learner who brings enthusiasm, energy, and a positive attitude to the technology classroom. This year's winner is Tanishka Daki. Hi, I'm Mr. Bellina, and I have the um, opportunity to present the Perseverance Award. This award recognizes that nothing stands in the way of the student who desires to achieve. Obstacles become challenges to overcome and serve to strengthen the student's motivation and will to achieve. As the famous quote states, the roots of true achievement lie in the will to become the best you can become. We are proud to recognize the following students for demonstrating the resolve and commitment to be the best that they can be, given their preparation, motivation, and accomplishments in class. This year's winners of the award are Brian Chang, Sophie Cesare, and Vedant Dev. Congratulations, guys, and well deserved.
Woodrow Wilson's virtuoso not only has a gift for visual or musical expression, but employs that talent to specifically enrich the program here at Woodrow Wilson Middle School. This individual is creative, highly motivated, innovative, and particularly dedicated. In the art studio or music classroom, virtuosos excel in gaining the esteem of their peers and teachers in a respectful manner. In keeping with the legacy of great artists and accomplished musicians throughout history, the following award winners have contributed to our school artistically and musically, as well as to their own self-development. The winners of the Virtuoso Award are Ruhi Patel, Prisha Moria, Harini Ravindranathan, and Olive Wang. I'm Elisa Monasterski, and I'm here to present the King of Hearts Award. For the academic year 2021, a new award has been added to our prestigious list of awards at Woodrow Wilson, and it is named King of Hearts. We are here to honor a brave kiddo, Vaibhav Venkat Raman, a Woodrow Wilson Middle School student between 2017 and 2020. Vaibhav was a bright academic student brimming with talents that include excellence in math and science, creative artworks like caricature, excellence in chess, and Rubik's Cube. He was also a passionate soccer player, making him an all-rounder. The life of this aspiring young man was shattered by the most notorious disease called acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL, in October 2014. Vibob stepped into this battlefield when he was as young as eight years old. Despite the terrible pain he underwent from the disease and treatment itself, Vibob displayed an impeccable spirit and courage in every walk of his life with a smiling face. He strived to keep up with his studies, though he was not fortunate enough to be present with his peer friends for most of his school days. Even on those days when Vaibhav attended school in person, his happy, ever-smiling face never revealed his fight for life unless his parents gave a heads up about his ongoing treatment. The medal that Vaibhav displayed at such a young age was overwhelming and is ever commendable. His bravery in trying to conquer the monster inside was inexplicably seen and felt by his parents, family, the entire medical team who treated him, his friends, his fond teachers, and all his well-wishers. His keen intellect and sharp sense of humor endeared everyone and turned even strangers into admirers. Vibov's yet another outstanding quality was respect for others, and this was known from his ever calm, cheerful, and polite way of conversation with everyone, even with his medical team amidst his struggles. Vibov's nature of empathy and willingness to give forward is known from the act of donating his cells to cancer research and some of his artworks for generating funds to help other kids. With the blessings of the Almighty, Vibov's parents are willing and taking baby steps to carry forward his legacy to support cancer kids and families across the world. Vibov wished a healthy and long life with his ever-loving family. He was administered the most innovative advanced scientific immunotherapy treatment, namely CAR-T, and he slowly started recovering, keeping his favorite spike hairstyle and eating his favorite food. He even attended his ninth grade classes on the first day. Unfortunately, there was a mutation and leukemia returned with full vigor. He fought back with determination till his last breath. Though we lost a true warrior in September 2020, we must proudly say that he marched forward with his amazing braveness and spirit in fighting it out for six long years and won as many hearts as no one could ever imagine. Let's remember this young champ's life qualities, such as incredible patience, love, compassion, politeness, strength, courage, and being the person who won't give up ever. We are happy to present the King of Hearts Award to the students who display many of the above qualities and stand as a tr an example to others to build a strong future. This year's recipients are Silas Cruz and Bo Brown. The Sportsmanship Award is given to students who have shown continued growth in athleticism and demonstrate the sportsmanship values of respect and integrity throughout competitions and play to students, student athletes, coaches, teachers, and officials. We are proud to announce this year's winners are Jonathan Lee, Ibrahim Sheikh, Danielle Boslett, and Ella Ford. Congratulations to a fantastic four of Representative Woodrow Wilson Middle School to the utmost degree of excellence over the past three years. Thank you for epitomizing the true challenger spirit. Best of luck in high school, where we know you will make us proud.
CWMS Linguist Award is given to students who have shown continued commitment to learning new languages and have embraced the idea of peaceful, cooperative interactions through mutual cultural understanding and respect. This year's winners are Salika Sahed, Darni Tiruvalur Ilango, Kartik Narula, and Rishikesh Mote. Storytellers transform the classroom and transport us into different landscapes through a multitude of mediums. They enchant and engage us with their careful attention to word choice. These wordsmiths are artistic and adventurous, writing on their own. They imbue their writing with an authentic voice. These students are inspired to become the bloggers, journalists, and creative writers who attract a diverse audience of readers within our school community. This year's winners are Emily Shi, Adolfo Malabanan, Archana Mariada, and Shrinitya Batiprolu. The Math Lead Award. This award is given to students who have demonstrated a commitment to the subject of math and have shown a desire to push themselves regardless of their scores. They have exhibited a positive attitude, frequent classroom participation, good work habits, and lead and reflect on the learning process. This year's winners are Uttara Tadakar, Devrath Puthar, Hershini Shankar, and Dia Bandave. Explorer Award is given to students who have demonstrated a commitment to continue learning through research, discovery, and design. Through their investigation and exploration of information, these students have brought new and profound ideas into the classroom, expanding their learning and inspiring the love of learning amongst their peers. This year's winners are Shanak Bagchi and Vedant Talati. Congratulations. A Woodrow Ambassador is someone who brings positive attention to the school by virtue of their success in co-curricular activities. 
These students are involved in an organization or competition which brings positive notoriety to the school and community. These students are actively involved in improving the Woodrow Wilson community through consistently offering to assist both their teachers and their peers. These students have defined what it means to work cooperatively with the best interests of all students. Whether it's volunteering to facilitate a breakout room, providing peer tutoring and support, these students can always be counted on to lend a helping hand. This year's winners are Alicia Dash, Raina Robinson, Tanish Middle, and Donashree Balamarugan. Daniel Donnelly was the beloved principal of Woodrow Wilson Middle School from 2003 to 2009. Mr. Donnelly was known for his wit, his wisdom, his love of music, particularly the Beatles, his faith, and his commitment to education as the key to success in life. Mr. Donnelly is missed deeply by the staff at Woodrow Wilson, and this award was created to honor his memory. The student who receives the Dan Donnelly Award must be special indeed. She or he must strive in academics, but also uphold the six pillars of character education. This student must be kind, helpful, and exhibit leadership qualities. This year's winner exemplifies the traits that Dan Donnelly demonstrated in his time as principal of this school. The winners of the Dan Donnelly Award are Piyush Patel and Sarvesh Premkumar. I will be presenting the Principal's Award. To understand the heart and mind of a person, look not at what he has already achieved, but what he aspires to, is the guiding principle behind this award. 
The recipients of the Principal's Award, one male and one female, demonstrate leadership qualities in the classroom and beyond. Respected by teachers and peers, enthusiastic, and recognized for being role models and having the confidence to be his or her own person. These students exemplify the characteristics of the recipients of the Principal Award. This year's winners are Sanvi Budagam and Yudish Sental Kumar. Congratulations. The Woodrow Wilson Award is the oldest and most prestigious award given to a student in the middle school. It was created many years ago to honor a student who excels not only in academics but also in extracurricular and service programs presenting personal conduct and scholarship that stands as a model for others. The recipient is chosen through an exacting process. Students are nominated by their teachers and then undergo a rigorous selection process. Each nominee's academic and extracurricular record is carefully researched. This information is distributed in confidence to the entire Wilson faculty, who then cast a preliminary vote for the three choices as finalists. A second, final vote is then cast for one of the three finalists. This year's recipient is yet another fine example of what Woodrow Wilson Award is all about. Active involvement in various school organizations and programs, fine academic record, and a wonderful outgoing personality distinguishes this year's recipient as the true spirit of Woodrow Wilson Middle School. This year's Woodrow Wilson Award winner is Aditya Kiruvakaran. Welcome to all WWMS family, friends, teachers, and staff members, and of course, the class of 2021. I'm Sanvi Budigam, this year's Student Council President. First of all, I'd like to give a huge thanks to our principal, Mrs. Blevins, and our vice principals, Mrs. Menderada and Mr. Zucchino, and of course, to all our wonderful staff and teachers for all their hard work inside and outside the classroom. To all our parents and family members for taking good care of us while we were stuck at home with them. And of course, to all my fellow classmates in this year's graduating class, aka some of the brightest, friendliest, and funniest people I have ever met in my life. Whether you are academically intelligent or extremely charismatic, every single person in our year has the talent and drive to go far. And yeah, I know, we didn't get any field trips. But hey, we still had a lot of fun these last three years. Whether it be chatting with your friends during homeroom or holding, or our conversations on the bus ride home. From band rehearsals to volleyball games, we all enjoyed the time we spent with each other, even if it wasn't as grand as going to Six Flags for a couple of hours. Everyone here, including me, is guilty of counting down the days until this school year came to an end. However, as I was writing this graduation speech at 12.30 last night, remembering the teachers I had and the friends I made, I thought, this wasn't so bad. So I encourage you to take some time to reflect over your middle school career, not just how we bantered in the hallways over PewDiePie or T-Series, or how we spoiled Endgame for our classmates, that's right, you know who you are, or events like Battle of the Classes and our dances, not just the academic lessons, like how mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell or the quadratic formula, but the ones that really matter, like how to be a good friend, a respectful peer, and a responsible citizen. But like all good things, our time as middle school is coming to an end, and we have new challenges to face in high school, like SAT, ACT, honors, longer classes, a bigger school to maneuver around, sports, you name it. But these were the same things we worried about as tiny, clueless sixth graders. But look at how far we came. We are now still pretty tiny, but experienced and resilient eighth graders, we make smarter decisions than our sixth grade selves and choose our friends based on the size of their hearts instead of the size of their Pokemon card collection. If we can survive going virtual, we can take any type of standardized test they throw at us. To those of you still worried about high school, here's my advice for you. Get involved in all the sports and clubs that you are interested in. Try to manage your time wisely and please get some sleep. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2021, and I wish you the best of luck in high school. Eighth graders, I hope you feel a sense of excitement. 
When you reflect upon your middle school experiences, think about the choices you have made up until this point. Those that proved to be good ones, as well as those you wish you didn't make. I hope you realize that in the end, it is your choices that will create your future, define your character, and determine your destiny. As you prepare for the next chapter in your life, remember the lessons you've learned, and not just the math or English ones. Remember the life lessons, how to be a good friend, a respectful son or daughter, how to be truthful, to value yourself and others. Learn from your mistakes. Learn to say you're sorry and to mean it when you say it. Life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it. Right now you are living in the uncomfortable. You are living out of your comfort zone but out of that comfort zone and out of that uncomfortable place is the spirit that drives us. In all of human history, great things happen when we have to rise above adversity and we have to overcome obstacles. I have no doubt that this great class will come out stronger and with more resolve and be part of the solution as we move forward in human history. You have missed out on events and eighth grade rites of passage. And for that, I am sorry. But you have been forced to grow up, mature beyond your years. The lessons learned during this time will take you far and give you the resolve to overcome challenges that come your way. I would like to share with you the following poem by Leslie Dwight. What if 2020-2021 isn't canceled. What if 2020, 2021 is the school year we've been waiting for? A year so uncomfortable, so painful, so scary, so raw that it finally forces us to grow. As a year that screams so loud, finally awakening us from our ignorant slumber. A year we finally accept the need for change declare change, work for change, become the change. A year we finally band together instead of pushing each other apart. 2020, 2021 is not canceled, but rather the most important year of them all. In closing, allow me to express a few wishes for each of you. Students, if you haven't already done so, please begin to set some goals for yourself. Without meaningful goals, you may find yourself four years from now somewhere you never wanted to be. Try to never take more than you give. In the end, what will determine your ultimate success and happiness in life are the number of people that you love and the number of people that love you. Finally, remember to always try to find the better part of yourself Leave whatever you do a little bit better than when you first found it, and always be kind to others. Thank you. We will now begin the recognition of our eighth graders. Homeroom 8-1. Harvez Abdul, Anuba Atarde, Nesha Me Bandari, Ayla Chenna, Ara Grace Cho, Silas Cruz, Aryan Garg, Tharun Giridhar, Shriya Gupta, Anushka Jadav, Diksha Kular, Noel Kasuma, Daniela Mencia, Puri Moda, Akshar Patel, Nesha Patel, Sia Patel, Ifra Mahek Pathan, Swetha Prasanna, Isha Sana Kayala, Faiza Sheikh, Estelle Singh, and Casey Wong. Homeroom A2. Ronald Achachi Achachi, Aryan Atul, Saira Pandari, Tanish Chantan, Augustia Dewan, Shubhan Gupta, Gati Jain, Tejasvini Kamari, Vishnu Kular, Siddhi Lada, Adolfo Malabanan, 
I, Anish Modi. Justin Ni, Anish Patel. Nidhi Patel, Sia Patel. Ankita Prem, Ankita Rath. Anika Sandeep, Zashan Tahukam Sheikh. Dia Siva Subramani, Maryam Sayeda, Shashwat Tiagi. Homeroom 8-3. Anisha Bag, Abhai Barther, Ariana Brito, Shiza Chowdhury, Tanishka Tage, Akshada Guruvayar, Vetrachel Vijay Prakash, Shrutika Kampati, Aditya Kirubakaran, Arnav Lange, Rahil Modi, Rhea Nimkar, Om Patel, Neil Patel, Tuisha Patel, Harini Ravindranathan, Siddharth Sanglakar, Ibrahim Sheikh, Pranavi Selma, Krish Talati, Evangeline Udomsoff, Brooks Gang. Homeroom 84 Shonak Bakji, Abe Bhaskar, Lakcha Chohan, Sanjay Narayan the Motheran, Ryan George, Ryan Hyder, Avni Jaitley, Isha Kias, Avery Linton, Saishra Damani, Naz Mansuri, Zaid Muhammad, Darsh Patel, Om Patel, Irvi Patel, Prince Chaudhary, Sahana Shankar, Harni Shankar, and me, Kimaya Sundarkar, Vidan Talati, Rachel Tan, Shriya Umaneni, and Vedashri Yanam. Homeroom 8-5. Nikita Aduru, Arushi Bhattacharya, Sophia Chen, Zara Diaz, Kevin Gobriel, Hayden Hailstork, Nerva Jansari, Abiram Kandadi, Betsy Kezakepuram, Jonathan Lee, Ishan Manu, Sargam Mondo, Midi Nuthaki, and me, Tevika Patel. Divya Patel, Om Patel, Vidhi Patel, Sonia Reddy, Jashmita Sapa, Harshini Shankar, Dhruv Soni, Abhinav Tata, Trija Vangala, Kiari Young. This is Homeroom 86. Nishita Eraju, Srinitya Bhati Prulu, Sophia Cesare Tilak Dolia, Soham Ghosh Jenon Hamad, Avnish Gandula Meredith Klasik, Victor Lee Archana Mariada, Ibrahim Gallardo Sanika Oak, Dylan Patel Puri Patel, Vroon Patel Devarath Puther, Arjun Ranjith Jamima Sarella, Arushi Sharma Uthra Tanikar, Shinvita Vendoti, and Annie Yu. Homeroom 87 Ashna Agrawal, Avantika Balaraman, Dia Bandabe, Ananya Chaubi, Adarsh Girish, Fiona Henson. Dia Jadas, Dea Karkan, Zachary Leonardo, Alexandra Faith Matthews, Michael Mormondo, Srijan Oak, Disha Patel, Boram Patel, Yash Patel, Venya Raghavan, Stefan Richardson, Josephine Cirilla, Ruhi Sharma, Giovanni Scalini, Homeroom A8 Abdel Rahman Ahmed Pranav Balasubramanian Savina Boga Ameya Chowdhury Himanji Davidi Sanvi Godbole Amreen Hassan Evelyn Hernandez Zapita Rhea Jayakumar Anishka Kodipaka Ethan Lee, Shay Moria, Ishikesh Mote, Abigail Ojudun, 
Diya Patel, Piyush Patel, Yashvi Patel, Neil Reyna, Zara Roshan, Abdullah Saribachak, Rihanna Sharali, Sham Shrikant, Shreyas Thermale, and Justin Vidal Hernandez. Oh, eight nine. Still on the phone. Pradipsi Bamigi, Daniel Oslet, Laksha Chowdhury, Benjamin Eno, Rishit Goa, Aditi Jayant, Rashida Kara, Nitya Konala, Sherry Liang, Kinjo Maria, Dahan Motana, Nildrit Paul, Meli Patel, Krisha Patel, Shravya Pati Badla, Soham Reya, Farha Rizbi Me, Mahijit Sin Sarveya, Anish Shate, Bohit Srikant, Dani Ilango, Sanya Vijan, and Kilip Singh. Home Room A10, Juanika Alex Paynton, Gabriela Benang, Frances Kapos Lezek Chak. Tanushri Mahiganta, Nida Gulamudi, Julia Hickman, Michelle Janis, me myself, Sai Jayanti, Jay Kashyap, Pranav Korapati, Vinshu Angliang, Prisha Moria, Emerlyn Multani, Brian Penn, Janvi Patil, Purav Patil, Tanush Patil, Ashri Raj, Raina Robinson, Sakhe Satya Raja, Siddhar Sheikh, Hita Srinivas, Sanjana Tokuru, Bao Ching Zong. Home Room 811, Upasana Banerjee, Bo Brown, Brandon Cremone, Louis Flores, Alvaj Grace, Destiny Howell, Laya Jimenez, Sara Kathuria, Richa Kotesha, Madeline Lagayu, Sandy Moria, Jasleen Multani, Harsh Panchal, Gia Patel, Ravi Patel, Ritojit Paul, Vaishnav Rajiv, Gabriela Ruiz, Adriana Show, Shlok Shetty, Dylan Thomas, Sanjana Vaperla, and last but not least, Eleanor Zhou. Home Room 812, Samanyu Bunsel, Aditi Dabade, Shukin Dave, Ella Ford, Gian Jarwal, Akifa Hassan, Emily Shi, Cheryl Jane, Madula Joshi, Bavinar Carr, Andrew Lynn, Spencer May, Miranda Mararka, Amog Pandey, Kavya Patel, Ria Patel, Sumia Patel, Arjun Rakara, Siddhartha Gayatri, Pranav Sekar, Vatsal Srivastav, Edwin Thomas, and myself, Vaid Bolivias. Home Room 813, Divija Bapat, Kuvena Bonsi, Aryan Chablani, Bhavagna Dagumati, by the way, that's me, Vedant Dev, Akash Kuntamadagu, Turt Joshi, Navin Kaur, Ram Kugan, Jeremy Lin, Yesha Mehta, Sahas Murthy, Prisha Pandey, Kushi Patel, Rujo Patel, Matthew Binto, Puja Ramakrishnan, Roman Sadowski, Nidhanandan Sinthu Kumar, Gurkat Singh, Emmanuel Stewart, Rashid Thomas, Enrique Wang, and Taliba Zaman. This is my homeroom, 814. Nandita Anand Kumar, Subhiksha Baskaram, 
Rashmi Chaka, Animesh Damar, Kishore Kumar Ganpati Sasi Kumar, Ashwika Gupta, Prajwala Amaradi, Christopher Zwan, Rutuja Kelkar, Vikyat Kur Shaitra, Nathan Lin, Shradra Menon, and myself, Daksh Pandit, Kushi Patel, Rudra Patel, Lalitha Potakula, Abhinav Ramasamy, Duarana, Urja Saha, Art Shah, Jasmine Singh, Arjun Sudarshan, Ryan Thomas Tergi, Olive Wong, and finally, Mohammed Wasai the Eighth. Room 815. Harish Angadala, Sarvani Chalamalasetti, Sanvi Dharam, Harini Ganeshan, Joshua Ipe, Dia Khan, Samantha Liu, Zara Merchant, Abhishek Narkade, Dev Pandya, Krishif Patel, Ishan Polakar, Anirudh Rangesh, Saidarni Silam, Kubi Shah, Alicia Shaheen, Nicholas Singh, Amina Salaman, and Sean Weeks. This is Homeroom 816. Minakshi Anup. Tritashri Bami Dipati. Gitika Chanchalani. Alicia Dash. Vijay Ganasan. Parthivi Gupta. Ashrita Jacob. Ella Cocker, Safar Khan, Tanisha Kumar, Arab Mahajan, Tanish Mittal, Parthik Narula, Me, Anthony Payalola, Kavya Patel, Shiv Patel, Rohith Prakash, Anvita Rani, Dimant Sainathuni, Tirth Shah, Sachi Singh, Riju Suwal, Shoria Tomar, and finally Samuel Lem. Homeroom 817. Brandon Arwitz, Alicia Bandari. Rohan Borahali, Ritvik Chandrasekharan, Dhruvi Dave, Sabiksha Ganesh, that's me, Shorya Gupta, Samantha Jacques, Hassan Kawaja, Prabna Kura, Dhruti Mysuriya, Abir Modak, Sanvi Narula, Kritika Parthasarathi, Mahek Patel, Shivani Patel, Kashvi Prasad, Aryan Rao, Adarsh Sakravarti, Salika Shaheed, Somya Singh, Shay Swan, Aditya Trivedi, Amber White, Abdullah Yusufi. This is Homeroom 819. Shrithika Adaki, me, Dhanshri Balamurigan, Manj Gupta, Jia Karani, Gauri K3, Charisma Kumar, Ruhi Patel, Sarvesh Prem Kumar, Sanjay Ravi Shankar, and finally Ashika Thumsi. Hey, 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 it's Homeroom 822, featuring Sanvi Budigam, that's me, Ryan Purikal, Ruchi Rao, Rubantaka Sivu Prakasani Virasekhu. Homeroom WAM 01-02. Brian Chang. Srinath Dodi.
Krish Patel, Jaden Scott, Brian Tam, Sai Nicholas Totam. As I mentioned in my opening remarks, the class of 2021 is our 47th graduating class. They are extremely special and unique. They have experienced a school year like no other and have emerged as resilient, strong, bright students. I am so proud of all of them for all they accomplished this year. Events like this require planning and time to do many tasks. Without the support of Mrs. Menderata and Mr. Zacchino, our assistant principals, our eighth grade team leaders, Ms. Kelly and Ms. Mako and their colleagues, our music and guidance department, as well as our office staff, all of this could not have happened. Please express your appreciation for those dedicated and caring people. Thank you for sharing this special event with us today. I hope you are as proud of your children as we are. Please continue to watch as we present a special gift to our eighth grade students. I will remember you. Thank you.